What options do international undergraduate students have for financial aid? Probably one of the biggest issues with studying abroad has to do with money. Where exactly in the world are you supposed to find all that money that you need to pay for your education in America? In many cases, universities can even charge two or even three times more from international students than they would from regular students born and raised there. Well, there are six options that you can explore to find out how to better finance your education. Let's have a look. Number one. Scholarships. Even if you don't have the five-star grades that you wish you had, there are still several options available to you for getting money. Many are merit-based which means that you need those great grades, but there are also some need-based scholarships that students have been able to get regardless of their academic grades. As always with scholarships, you don't need to pay any of the money that you receive back, so that's why this option is the best. In addition, if you are planning to attend a college or university and play sports, there may be some options available for you there as well. Number two is part-time campus employment. Another option that you can consider is getting a part-time job working on campus. It won't be anything really glamorous, you'll probably be working as a barista or cashier, but it will allow you to support yourself so you can buy essential things like food, shampoo, or toothpaste, so on. If you contact your campus international student organization, also known as ISO, they can help you with finding and getting these kinds of jobs. Don't rely on this option as your first option though. Also, make sure you are aware of the university's policy or the local city or state government policies regarding the hiring of foreigners. Some cities or states require an employer to consider hiring American citizens before they can consider hiring any international students. You can contact your university's ISO for more information. Number 3 is University Loans While American students can receive loans through their universities, international students are unfortunately not eligible. However, you can explore options with taking a loan in your home country. Be sure to do plenty of research and make comparisons with different loan options. You might just find something that is reasonable and works for you. So just make sure you do your homework on this. Number 4 is Advanced Standing Another option still is to apply for an advanced standing at the university where you plan to attend. By doing this, you can, if you qualify, Shorten the program's duration depending on how good your grades are and if you have done any studying about the subjects that you are going to need to study in order to graduate. It isn't exactly financial aid, but by shortening your study program, you can certainly reduce the amount of money that you would spend by a semester or even by a year. Because of that, you should definitely consider this option. Number 5 is credit transfer. This is probably the easiest option, but it takes the longest. Basically, you can transfer your credits from another institution that you are either currently attending or have attended. You should double-check with your university and the institution in your home country to find out what courses are transferable and which ones aren't. And last but not least, number 6. Community Colleges. This is probably the most underrated of all, but you should consider attending a community college. They are much cheaper and if you manage to successfully get a two-year degree, it will transfer easily to a four-year university. There you can finish by getting your bachelor's or master's degree. Because community colleges are managed by states and not the national government, there may be more funding options available that you wouldn't find in private universities. So that's it. These are just some of the ways you can get money to pay for your education in the United States. If you're interested in finding out more about studying in the U.S. or you are interested in preparing yourself for it, be sure to check out stanfordacademies.com. We're here to help.